you want to make sure that your uh, there are a couple places where your timing can be seen. See that line right here? That line will be parallel with this part of the uh, engine. And there's another one over here. Right there. So when those two lines are parallel with the engine, that's how you know you're at a you're at top dead center. Okay. So it looks to me here that I can probably turn this engine block maybe back a little bit that way, but it's close enough, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay. That's uh, I just wanted to show you that. We're going to have to label a couple things before we start to pull more things apart. I'm on the distributor side and uh, these same wires here, I just want to label them in case anything were to happen. They got confused. So on the distributor I'm going to write, on the cap I'm going to write. Just labeling things in case things get confused. On the belt side, I'm going to put some arrows. So I'm also going to number them, right? So use the same format as the cylinder head. So one, two, three, four cylinder head. So the furthest that way is going to be one. The middle is two. Over as it goes that way, the number increases. So pull number one right here. We'll put an arrow. And number one again. That way it just helps us in case anything gets lost. I and mean, disorientated, so that's belt number one. It's belt number two. It's a little hard to get to. It's a noble idea. Anyway, we have one labeled. That's one less thing that confuse us. And then we're going to have to uh, take the uh, throttle cable and kind of like put it back so out of the way a little bit. It's a little, um, it's a little annoying right now. So let's take the throttle cable, hook it here, slide it back. Probably like a to attach it to the uh, windshield wiper. Yeah, I think we should do that. Alright, so that's tucked back. And then we want to uh, let's get a let's mark this distributor. So we know uh, how to put it back for the time in. What we want to do is take our chisel. Let's put a line across the top like that. Take our, our marker. Go like that. So that's going to help us know for sure where the uh, how the distributor lines up. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is uh, pull the cap off and those uh, 12 millivolts, 12 million. Then let's take a. Uh, these 12 millimeter bolts out. We have three of them. One, 
two, three. Uh, that holds this distributor on. Truth is, I don't think you really need to take this cap off. I think about it. Let me see. I teach, yeah, <laughs> teach the internet. So, as I teach the internet, yeah. That's what I'm doing right now. Have a good day. Teach anybody willing to listen. All right, so we have three of these bolts, like that. The other one's there. Let's leave that one intact for a little bit. Let's see if we can get this unplugged. This gets too crazy. Crazy difficult to get off, that is. That's separate. Again, don't bother pulling that uh, cap off of that. I don't, you don't need to do that. So that's that. Cool. So three bolts. Like that. These are my distributor bolt bolts. So I'm just trying to like label and bag things now. Uh, I'm doing this over a span of days. I don't remember stuff. I put the uh, cap back on. I'm right, gonna put these apart. I have a 12 millimeter we want to pull off right here, but before we do that, this is this is going to because we're gonna remove this bolt bottom bolt. We're gonna mark it. Let's give us an idea of how far over it was. For the tension on the uh, so the it uh, looks like the air conditioner. Yeah, that's air conditioner. 
No, it's a power steering. Okay. So we're gonna take the power steering off. This is a 12 millimeter. We got one bolt there. Finish this off. That's that, that's one. Here's the other twelve millimeter. Both of these bolt, bolts they look like that. Okay. Three, now we want to just kind of get this up and out of the way so we can. This might, be get, this might get a little messy. Yeah, I think it's going to get a little messy. some space. Okay. Are we good with that? Yeah, it's fine. Let's get this dipstick out that doesn't do much anymore. Can we? No, it's not. Okay, the clip for this is missing in action here. Okay. Now, let's get these bolts off. We have, uh, we have those 10 millimeter bolts. Yeah, the magnets really help because you, you drop things a lot. Yeah, those are 10 millimeters. See how easy you can get in here. Nope, oh, you need an extension on that. Let's get this back. Yeah, no. All right.
was stronger. one. And those two look like this. And those two hold the uh, upper timing belt cover on. So that's that. So we're gonna bag these up. So let's get the uh, upper timing belt cover, toss that in there. bolts that uh, came with it. Another way to tell that your timing is correct, you see the word up written on the pulley. So that's how you know. Okay, And up is north or away from the planet for accuracy. Okay. I want to show you something about this uh, timing belt. It's supposed to be really tense, taut on this side, and looser on this side. So this is the looser side, right? Here's the taut side. That's way too loose. So I am like not getting enough power, fuel, everything is just shot because of that. So this belt needs to be replaced. Okay, so I don't know if the tensioner has just failed or Whatever, the belt's just stretched out, but I can see some micro micro cracks in the top, you know? Okay, so that's what you want to look out for. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get this non-functioning anymore uh, dipstick guide out. Keep that with the engine. So we have some power stirring bolts. I'm going to put those in here. It's those two bolts. Let's hold the power steering pump in place. Put that, keep that with the others. We have three 14 millimeter bolts. We had to remove that bracket. The bracket's holding the uh, cam, the, uh, the two blocks of the engine together. Um, the valve and the cam. So let's get this off.
we have a ground here, which is a 10 millimeter that needs to come off. So let's get that off. Tuck that away right here. Screw that back in so we don't lose it. shorter. Yeah. Let's see what the uh, other bottom one's going to look like here. So we got two at the bottom of the same, and the top one's a little longer, like that. So. Looks like that. Yeah, so that's the bracket. The bolts are in there already. This air filter out of the way. It'll make some more room. Okay. Get out of the way. I need to disconnect some connectors from the. Uh, the head. Alright, so let me see. Let's start with the hardest one. This, it's all like caked on, so I'm not really sure how this connects. The disconnect. So I'm gonna clean it off a little bit. Look at that, just slides right off. Come on. Sometimes this thing's 
was a little more practical. That hose looks like it's about to be shot. That's all I can say. Yeah, maybe you can spray it a little bit. Some silicone spray. And the condition of that hose is not, just doesn't look nice. Looks like it's gonna fall apart. Amazing. Okay. So we got these connectors off of the head. You can see how oily it is right here. This is indicated that oil's running down. Okay, uh, we want to loosen up these 12 millimeter bolts back there. You can't see what I'm talking about. Can we have um, some bolts holding this intake on? It's uh, this is going to be the most Annoying one to get at. It's not not impo not difficult. Just annoying. Okay, so we have that there. It's also subjective experience, isn't it? What's difficult? So here we go. We have one, two, three, four behind this. Five, six, seven to pull off. And those are all 12 millimeter bolts. Okay. Hmm? We build the whole thing? Yeah, it's like a partial rebuild. Yeah. That's, my son does that shit all the time. It goes 16 hours a day. 16 hours a and day. And I took a 50000 dollars loan, I got a truck, all the tools and shit. Wait, what happened? You what happened to your son? I bought him a I took his loan against my house. Uh -huh. Got him all the tools. Okay. Metric in English, he's fixing everybody's cars. Uh -huh. and now what for happened? Nothing. For nothing? <laughs> hey. Is he volunteering? Yeah, he's saying you don't fucking charge your friends and family, and neighbors uh, and stuff. Well, he has to eat, right? Yeah. So. I said, fucking meanwhile, we're falling behind on all our bills. Exactly. And shit. That doesn't make much sense. Yeah. I don't like that strategy. Yeah. It's not a good strategy to Jack survive it. He knocked the door, his door wouldn't lock. He drilled the hook, put new wood in it. Uh huh. And fixed it, and the guy gave him $7. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. The fucking wood cost more. I know. He said, but he's our neighbor. I said, he also needed a basement window. Tim said, buy a case of beer, I'll put it in for you. I got uh, the wood over the house. Uh, he got my brother-in-law to do it for $475. Oh, I see. When I you, said, you didn't know we were fucking related, dude? You didn't think I would hear about this shit? Oh, right, right, I'm right. I'm not going to fucking do it look at the flavors anymore. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going to happen. I think I got something to give us a little bit more leverage. So I put the uh, quarter inch back on. Stick this on there. Now oh, that works.
try uh, the 3 8 again. Let's see if I can get that on there. They say hard to get off, hard to get back on. Got it. Magnet works really well. Let's see if we can get the others on. Seven. Look like that. All right, there's a bracket underneath. Let's hold this intake manifold here in place. 
This is a 12 millimeter bolt. And uh, you're gonna have to loosen that up if you, uh, let's see if we can get a better shot. Okay, so it's right there. You're gonna have to take that off if you wanna pull this intake off. So, loosen that up and you won't be fighting with it like I started to. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, looks like this. Alright, so now intake should be a little bit more free. And uh, I'm gonna have to bend this back a little because I kind of pushed it on it a little too hard. Okay. Let's get all those uh, bolts, put them in the bag, called intake. And uh, we have the one from underneath. And we have the seven. I'm up top. So let's put them in the bag. Like that. Now the intake should move a lot more freely. There you go, like that. Oops. As I drop my wrench. Well, anyway, you get the point. It's free now, and uh, that was the, that's what was holding it. Up. All right at this point, we need to take the uh, head bolts out. Uh, we got to do in a crisscross pattern, so yeah, I'll give you a better shot. Are we going to go in this kind of pattern? Okay. So here we go. Shaky cam. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got it? So we're gonna loosen them up look just like that. Okay. Now we're not gonna take them out because we need to keep them the same. Now that's if you're gonna reuse the bolts. I'm gonna get new bolts, but I'm still gonna show you the way to do it anyway. So that way you can uh, if you are gonna reuse your bolts, just do that. Mostly everything is disconnected from the uh, the head, so it should be straight, smooth sailing from here. Once you get that, pull, pull those bolts in and slide that off.
Okay, so now that they're all loose, loosened, you go ahead and uh, pull this up a little faster. So. so what I did, I had a half inch adapter onto there so I can go to my 3 8 I'm sorry, so I can go to my uh, 14 millimeter. That's what that is. Okay, so all those are 14 millimeters. They're all loose, and I get my template. So I can ask, here's my template box. I'm gonna use say TB time and belt side. These are the holes for the uh, bolts four, six, there's ten of them. Okay, right? so we go like this. So I get the washer. We could clean them off too a little. Jesus. I gotta be so civilized.
some zip ties to hold this uh, belt to the uh, tongue belt to the camshaft sprocket here. So this might be unnecessary if you're going to do the timing belt like I'm going to do. I'm just showing you if you just wanted to do the head gasket. All right, so this might be a good thing to do just to keep things in alignment. Okay, that's a... Uh, so I think it's a 12, yeah, it's a 12 millimeter. That's a 12. Limit the movement of this. Let me get that off. Hmm. Interesting. All right, this is a little tricky. If you're tall, it'll be easy. If you're short, maybe a little challenging. You put your socket on here, right? Put this in the uh, tightening format, so you know, clockwise. Lock it in clockwise like this. Hold it right there. So you take your um, 12, okay, this is a 17, your 12 right here, okay. put your 12 on that, right, and you just turn like that, okay, you turn like that, it'll loosen right up, and you can uh, slide this uh, sprocket off the camshaft, okay, so that's how you do it. There's a specialty tool. Oh look, the bolt I was looking for. There's a specialty tool just to hold the uh, camshaft position. When I get it, I'll show you. It's to help you with all these kind of weird problems like this, so you can properly torque down things, because uh, all that will move. So my timing marks are a little bit off now, so I gotta go back underneath and uh, turn them into position. So again, this is a 17 millimeter. Take a look right here for the arrow, the line. I'm sorry, not arrow, but the line that goes across. You see it's a little high. Just turn it back a little bit. So I'm turning this forwards or counterclockwise. Just get that lined up. Okay, now I'm back at top dead center. Okay. So. Again, right here. See that line? That line should be parallel. It's at the top of this. Same thing on this on this side over here.
wonder if I should just take this off. So I thought I could slide that out. This pulley, this is camshaft pulley off of the camshaft, but looks like it's just lifting the uh, entire head off, which is good. This wants to come off. Right? That's what we want, but. This off without that coming with it. Hmm. Bad idea? What do you think? Looks like it's keyed. Yeah, totally is keyed right here. See the key mark right there? Let's just make sure there's no uh, I'm not gonna lose a key. There we go. So that's that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you what's tricky. So if I pull the head off, see right here? like stopping it, right? Um, should be able to just lift it right off. I think. Um, if I took off. See that plastic? It's screwed onto there. Alright. So, this right here, if we can suspend this, so it's thinking of going like that. We can hold this up like this, and that way we won't lose the teeth placement on the belts below. If you wanted to uh, just do the timing belt and not do anything else, okay? But we're gonna do the timing belt also. I'm showing you how to do it. If you wanted to not. just to keep it afloat and move it off the plastic. Right. And I should be able to, yep, there you go, lift it off. That's it, we did. I'm gonna spend some time and clean the uh, soot, all the carbon deposit off of here off the top of the pistons and the two down at the bottom. And then in here, clean out the intake. It's got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of carbon deposits in here too. So. All right, I'll bring you back. Probably take me several hours. There's chemical experiments to see what works best. 
Okay, let's take a look at this gasket, head gasket, see what we can observe, let's see what makes it, looks like it failed or not. Um, right, let's get yourselves, get ourselves orientated here. Uh, this is the in, intake side. This is the exhaust side. Passenger, driver's side. Right, and uh, what we have is uh, here's the gasket. Now I'm not really sure if this is supposed to uh, say be that easily separated. I'm not sure, but there's three layers to this gasket. Right, one, two, three, and Is it designed like that? I'm not really sure. What do you think? Is this some like hackish solution because it was like the engine is warped? I don't really know, you know. Alright, well I don't I don't know what to say about this. So okay. I don't know what to so I'm looking for like something specific, like a crack or so. You know, something that feels obvious. Okay, that, that came out, that's good. I was wearing there now. Okay, they both came out. Okay, so these guide pins here, let's keep them orientated in the right, the same way I got them out. We don't have any, so we don't have any issues. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, do you see anything specific? anything specific. Alright, well, that's what it looks like. I'm going to clean all this off. Got a lot of cleaning ahead of me. Yep. Okay. Don't forget to disconnect your battery. I should have told you to do this a long time ago. So, uh, uh, that's a, uh, a 10 millimeter. I'm just gonna throw a glove on this just to keep it. Uh, make sure it doesn't just for some odd reason ground out to something. Okay. So I'm cleaning the engine block. We got a couple things. Uh, to help with that, I got uh, some, some Scotch Brite. Uh, they come in uh, bigger pieces like that. I just cut them in half. Got a whole lot of WD 40 to help dissolve the carbon. And I got myself a uh, bronze brush. I guess bronze is softer than aluminum, so it shouldn't scratch. And then a whole lot of rags. Now, the WD 40 I put inside of this container. Just get yourself a spray bottle. Okay, so we're gonna spray clean. I'll give you a little example of what I'm doing and then, uh, you know, with the user imagination. All right, so I've got that already sprayed. And uh, you can see that the uh, carbon is uh, coming out. Right here, I'm gonna put the 
I might need a razor just to get rid of some of this raised surface stuff. See it's already coming out. So again, you just keep spraying it from the spraying side here. Get a lot of just soot removal. So it's pretty contaminated. So you get the idea, just keep cleaning it to discover anything new. I want to show you a little something here with the razor blade, right? I'm um, not a big fan of it, but you know, that's what you do. You don't, because you don't want to scratch the aluminum, so just lightly, I'm really, really lightly just going like that. Just try to re remove some of that stuff that's just kind of stuck on. And you can see how it just just picks it right up, picks it right out of the way. So, just use a little razor blade. Again, don't push down because you're not trying to mar the surface. Like that. You'll see, it slowly just gets rid of all the... Uh, You can't get rid of the scotch right. so much better. So you're going to have some discoloration. This parts of the engine was exposed where, the, uh, where there was no gasket. You just go ahead and keep on cleaning. You can see this is so much cleaner. Top of these pistons. You might not be able to see it. But... Oh yeah, you can. But those, those are so much cleaner now, the top of those pistons. Doing that, I, I don't know if I call this a. Uh, this is a. This is a. Oh my god. Bronze. Okay, bronze. And this. I, don't know, I think I might have called it brass earlier. I said brass, bronze, brass, oh my gosh. Why am I having a, a part? <laughs> anyway, I get the name right for you. It's like those homo homographs, I think they're called. It's like, a, you know, brass can be like an instrument. more of a humble phone.
multiple sounds. I mean, same sound, homo. Phone with different meaning. Brass is a weird one, you know. All right, so I am. Uh, I keep chipping away at this. I like the way the uh, WD-40 is really working on it in this album. My only concern is that, uh, oh yeah, don't forget, um, when you are here, you want to get all the, the inside to the top of these. I only use this, don't, don't, uh, you know, don't clean too far down if there's nothing down there to clean. Just get rid of this, these hot spots. Okay? So I kind of realized I made a problem for myself. I should have covered all these holes where the bolts go in. So I'm going to have to clean those out separately. Anyway, I moved on to this lacquer thinner. I'm going to try to clean the... Um... I'm going to try to... Uh... Something a little different to sit on top of the pistons and clean it off. So I'm just going to try with some lacquer thinner. WD-40 works great, but you know, I just wanted to see if this would go a little faster because I've been doing it for a while now. So, it's going to be weird because I don't know how to pour this without making, a, without making a mess. Alright, so we'll let that soak. Doing these first, so those soak. That's good. They don't. Um, they don't. <laughs> Alright, you can see that uh, a gasket is going to be a bit of a challenge to get off. So, there you go. I want to show you uh, the bad news. So it's definitely warped. Right, take a look at this part right here. So I have this set flush. Right? You can almost see right there. It, see how over here it's pretty flat. Go right there. And right over here. So it's on this side over here. It's got a lot of a lot of space, too much space. Over here is really over here's not bad. Out really hard. See? So it's warped on that side. And uh, that means I'm gonna have to get it uh, resurfaced. I have a lot of interesting things I don't know. They can't just send it away like this because this protrudes these valves. So I'm gonna have to uh, remove them. All right. I have to prepare this for um, uh, to send to the machine shop, so I need to remove the rocker arms and um, and some switches on the side here. The uh, so you don't have to do this. The machine shop said that I could keep it on. They'll just charge me extra. Just call your machine shop to figure it out. I also figured out that they would actually clean the gaskets off of the side of this. So that's something that you might want to find out and save yourself a lot of time. But there's a specific order to remove the, uh, the bolts from this D16Y7 engine. 
it should also apply to like the Y5 and Y6 and probably Y8. You're going to go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And that should allow me to lift up this uh, rocker arm assembly. I'm not sure if it's just rocker assembly or rocker arm or rocker arm assembly, but we're going to lift this off and we want to keep the bolts in because we don't want this to fall apart. Okay? So this is a top dead center. Just remember that. Alright, let's give it a try. Uh, we also need to get this off because, um, anyway, let's just, let's just do it. Enough talking. Okay, so we have 10 millimeters here on this side. Right. I can tell you this would be easier to do when this was in the motor because it's got the motor holding onto it, so I might fight with this. Okay, just a little, you don't want to turn them all off. I'm sorry. I just want to break it a little bit. You see the fight I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, I'm going to anticipate a lot of that sliding around, so let me do something to help. help. I'm just going to throw some C clamps on the edge here. I just want to hold it down a little. And nothing tight, I'm just trying to pull this down so we can have. Um, some downforce to keep it from sliding up. Okay, that should keep it in place. Okay. Here we go. Turn that. This side. This is three. breaking them loose and then we go to the 12. All right so these tops bolts here are 12s. Let's so we did one, two, three, four, one, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Okay, let me start over again. Let me go back to the uh, ten millimeter on this side. So that's a it's a ten millimeter. I, know, I didn't show you okay, ten for the sides. Back to one, two, three, four, twelve millimeter, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. 
And this should be the round that we take the bolts, not take them off, but we're just going to loosen them all the way. Maybe we'll do it by hand. Yep. to the 12. These are all done. Let's just finish these off. Just unscrewing them until I can just pull them up. But I'm not pulling them out. This has a number five written on it with an arrow facing that way. I wonder why. Okay. Alright, so that should be it. We should be able to lift this off now. Okay, that's a good sign. side wants to come off. Um, let me just like lift a little hair. Try not to damage the uh, aluminum on the uh, cam camshaft there. Let's, uh, let's see. What can we pry on?
Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So I just um, wanted to know this bolt here. Well, it's not there. It has a groove. I was able to like kind of push on. Bolts are still screwed in. All right, so that's it. See that? All right. I'm gonna gently put that back down. Uh, don't do anything crazy. Okay. So now that yeah, this is some debris from the gasket that I removed. Now that's done, right? We have ourselves a um, camshaft. So it. I'm gonna make sure I pay attention to what's happening here. I'm already. Diving deep here, ladies and gentlemen, diving deep. Okay, so I need to, let's see. Let's get a, let's just get a good look at that and make sure uh, we're all on the same page. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. So this camshaft, you can see it's keyed on that side. Okay. It needs to go back in just like that. Okay. There is a gasket here. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I guess it's an O ring. That's going to be replaced. Okay, and there's some gaskets for the spark plug tubes at the bottom are going to be replaced also. Alright, so let's see what we got. Back off a lot here. What magic we can work <laughs> or not. Um, I just don't want anything to fall apart. Just keep that like that. Okay. I'm gonna lift this off. Like that. Okay. Help me uh, keep things in place. I'm just gonna just kind of bracket them in like that together. Ah, uh, the interdisciplinary approach to auto repair. Uh, right. This is going to be here for about 24 hours or less. Okay, so. Bracket this in together. Let's see, let's see what I'm doing. laughing, thinking I'm a little paranoid, but it's okay. It's better to be paranoid than not. That's how I perceive. Okay, so I'm leaving that there. Alright, we have to take uh, back up. Get some more to take off. Some sensors here. This side panel here, this has a. Um, I need to get this off. It's held on by, it looks like a, a 10 millimeter. Yeah. Alright, so. 
10 millimeter. I'm sorry, I don't think you saw that. That is a 10 millimeter. Okay. So let's pull this off. This has some rubber legs underneath it that you might lose, or you might not, but they're there. Okay, that's that bolt. talking about. Okay, uh, we have some sensors on this side. We need to get off. Let's see those? What do you think that is? Let's see, is that a 10? Yes, it's a 10. Okay, let's get that one off. I need to elevate this a little because uh, it's, uh, it's a little on the make sure you can see. It's going to elevate that a little. I'm going to turn it towards you. So you can see what the heck's going on. Yes, that is a 12 millimeter. Okay. So we're gonna, let's get that out. It's a little hard to see because I'm on the dark side of the moon, but you get the point. Thread it. I'll probably throw this in the ultrasonic cleaner. No, never mind. I don't know. Maybe I'll spray it. I don't have an idea. So it took a little while to figure out what sockets to use. Um, I have a 19 millimeter on this side. So I have a 19 millimeter. And on this side over here, this is 22 millimeters. So it's going to be 22 millimeters. Okay. And uh, let's see how uh, let's see how easily we get this off. Oh yeah, 
that's easy. You know what? I'm tempted to leave this on. Only because it is all metal. Yeah, I'm going to leave that one on. I'm going to take that one off. that. Cool. Well, you know what I really want to know? It's like, at times like this, I wonder, like, how would you test these to see if they were functional? Yeah. Anyway, so we got that off. I think we are ready. I think we did it. We are ready to have this. There's a bolt. Right next to the, it's right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but come on. Right here, down here, right there. That bolt is a 19 millimeter bolt, and that's a drain plug for that stuff. We need to clean out all that stuff right there. So let's try to drain it with that. I'm not sure what it looks like from... So you see it right here? There's the oil pan. Right? That's the bolt right here. Okay, and uh, let's see if I... Alright, I think I have an idea. Let us put this 19 millimeter socket onto here, right? And then I'll take a little wrench like this the end of it. Just a little bit more leverage. Feels like that did nothing, but stripped it. Okay, this bowl has a really huge, like, flange like area around it. So you can use that to grab to unturn. Ah. <laughs> oh god, that's major contamination. I gotta go puke myself. So that bolt looks like that. I think it's quite massive. And uh, it should have had a washer on it, so it may be still up, stuck up there. All right. This uh, is mostly drained out. Um, there's not much coolant anywhere anymore. So that's good. Um, we want to you now clean out the holes with the bolts. And those holes are clogged, so this one has a lot, of, a lot of liquid in there. We need to get them clean, so that way we can put it back together. We don't have any issues with uh, torquing them down.
Let's clean this uh, bolt and just see if it screws down all the way down and all of all of the spots, so we know for sure we did a good job. I tell you, it doesn't have the same uh, stop as it uh, It's manufactured. Uh, wow, interesting. Okay. Like stopping. When I heard that noise, then I showed the fuck around. I gave her that look like, bitch, I would knock that little bitch out to my wife. I To shine a little light on the inside of those. I want to show you what I'm looking for. I'm just 
checking to see I can see the bottom of those. I don't know if we can ever get the right angle on this, but it's a sweet spot for the light. Anyway, um, so they all, oops, that looks pretty good. It's a good angle. Well, anyway, so what I'm trying to do is just see what's happening inside of those holes. So I can see all the way at the bottom. So I feel really good about them being clean. Uh, I am interested in why this one was manufactured differently. See how it's uh, it's straight through a little bit more, unlike uh, its neighbor here. So that kind of like has a little taper at the top there. Either way, we're good. All is good. Uh, what did I learn? Definitely make sure you put some rags in there. So I'm going to do that right now, so that way we don't have to clean these out again.